Hey Aries, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, please like and subscribe. All right, Aries, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading and see what we have for you today. Whoa, look at what fun. Did you guys hear that fall on the table? This is the Ace of Cups. Speaking of the Ace of Cups, that's what fell over. Wow, two, I'm sorry, this is the Lovers and the Two of Cups. Aries, you guys, um, you know, of course, this is a love reading, but I'm going to be honest with you. This this can have something to do with job because um, generally when a lot of abundance is coming in, we're talking about partnership. We're saying things in that regard. And interesting enough, as soon as I said at the bottom of the deck, there is the empress. So as far as money for what I see for you, um, you know, it is going to be amazing. You guys are going to be partnering up with people. And you, it, for some odd reason, I feel like when you do that, there's you feel like you're at service. You feel so comfortable with yourself. You love that you are able to, um, you know, be with other people and not be just by yourself, like solo, that type of thing. Um, so you're growing. This is growth, that type of thing, right? Now, also, when it comes down to love, I mean, my goodness, not only is it self-love, but this is also someone loving you. This is equal amount of love here with the Two of Cups. This is amazing. And a lot of you guys are going to be going into a partnership where it will be a long term. This is like marriage energy, that type of thing. Okay. Wow. Really good. Definitely partner up in business. Okay. And then in relationships, it is just out of the water. You guys are knocking this out of the ballpark here. <laughs> um, oh, wait a minute. My cards are turned over. Sorry. I cannot allow that. Give me one second, guys. There we go. Okay. So I definitely see here with the six of uh, wands, like again, you know, this is talking about success. This is talking about being seen, attention. I mean, this is amazing. Recognition. This does have something to do with job. This has something to do with love. Someone's seeing you. They want you. They want every bit of you. I do feel like someone is watching you here with the page of source. It's a communication. So you guys are getting whatever you want in, in every department here. Cooperation is very huge for you. And this is what you've always been wanting. And this is what you're going to be getting. This is amazing. Abundance. It actually came out. <laughs> so here with the Empress card. This is a, this is you expanding, um, like I said before, with love and money, uh, being very comfortable. I also feel that someone is going to come in. This is to me, someone new. This is so much new, fresh, crisp energy here. Um, even here with the Page of Wands, this is someone who's excited to know you. You're excited to know them. The Ace of Cups talk about a new beginning. Okay. Absolutely. What happened? Look at how this turned for you. Whoa, here with the nine of pentacles. Um, you guys have your choice of the pick here, really. Money is going to be amazing. Um, you guys may be dating different people. Some of you guys are here at the eight with the eight of cups. Some of you guys are leaving things behind. So let's just say you guys were dealing with different people. You at, at this point, some of you guys may just want to be with one particular person. Um, and you have your choice. That's what I was saying before. You have your pick. You have your choice of fruit <laughs> in a sense, right? Some of you guys are leaving a connection where, you know, you were not put, you weren't, the person made you feel like you weren't important. So now you're going into a more committal type of connection. This is where you're headed, okay? Because you're not about that life right now. You're really not. You're like, listen, I have, I have goals. I have dreams that I want to accomplish. And this is where you're going. Yeah, see, there's going to be people who are going to be competing for your heart. Now, see, generally, I will say, you know, maybe this is what you've done. Yeah, you've done that. But this is you. People are going to be competing for you. Why? Because you have attention. You have abundance. You look good. You feel good. You are exuding that. And there are going to be more than one person. Yes, here with the judgment card. There's going to be people from the past who are going to want you. But this is also talking about you making the judgment to um, fight for what you want. And this is also you moving forward. You know, this is your decision. This card is also talking about decision, not just about a phone call or someone wants to reconcile. This is also a decision to move forward, fighting for what your your dream which is a, a, a partnership where it is re reciprocal, okay? That type of thing. 
one more. Okay, here with the Three of Wands. I feel like you guys know that it's not here yet, but you feel this energy. So everything that we see here on the board, I definitely see it. And here's Celebration here with the Three of Cups. Whoa, this is amazing reading. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys are doing, but okay. Go ahead, Aries. Keep it up. Keep it up, Aries. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I do feel like you guys were dealing with someone who's like on a power trip. You know, like they were resisting. They were playing mind games. And you're like, listen, I don't have time for that. And this is the reason why the Eight of Cups was there. I felt that energy. Now someone is feeling a little salty because you left. That's what I feel. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and clarify. Um, we're going to clarify with that. Um, we're going to clarify first that Ace of Cups. These cards are these like that you can't really see. So please make sure you guys pay attention to what I put on the board before. But I got to use them because I bought them a long time ago and I love them. Okay. Let's get the, the Ace of Cups. For Aries. This is amazing, Aries. Goodness. Look at this. Two of Cups. Okay. So this is where you guys are headed. You got love all of your reading. This is a transformation here with the death card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, but this is dealing with, um, sorry, this is dealing with a, like a, a relationship has been transformed. Your love life is being transformed here. Let's go ahead and get the lovers. Lovers. Ace of, isn't this, um, look at all of this love, Aries. Good Lord. What in the world is going on? Self-love and real love. <laughs> this is self-love and someone who see that you had enough love for yourself. So this is the reason why people want your attention. They're fighting for it. And there's love coming in here. And it's going to come pretty quick here with this Knight of Swords. Whoa. Two of Cups. This is amazing. This is going to be a marriage here with the Four of Wands. Some of you guys may have already been married and it fell down here with the tower. Mm-hmm. It looks like it may have been a third party energy here. I'm sorry. I know. Like, I know. Just bear with me. It's just because of the glare. Yeah, some of you guys were already married. Okay. You had enough self-love, you left. So like I said before, this is definitely about a connection. But it's a third party energy here and someone wants you badly, but you have a choice to be with whoever you want to be with. That's the fact that I feel like someone is going to try to fight their hardest, their damnedest to be with you. Okay, let's get the six of wands. Yeah, you cut someone off. You know your value. You cut someone off here. Queen of Pentacles. This is why I feel like, sorry. This is the reason why I feel like you, some of you guys, you know, you guys were approaching some type of long-term committed relationship. And this is what you're waiting for when it comes down to, um, you know, someone new. I told you in the beginning that I felt like it was someone new anyway. And I just, I really do believe that because you guys were messing with F, F boys, F girls, <laughs> and you just cut it away and look how optimistic you are. You're just moving on. You're moving on. Let's go ahead and get that. Um. Empress. Let's get the Empress. What is this? Yep, someone wants to reconcile. It keeps coming out. And like I said before, this also talks about this is the universe bringing in your soulmate. This is going to be a call. This is going to be you being able to hear spirit message for you. Okay. But, you know, for a lot of you, this does have something to do, even if you weren't married, this is mistress energy if you guys are married. And if you were, this person was dealing with other people. But you have heavy love in your reading. And this is what's coming towards you. Let's get the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. See here where someone is going to try to sneak back in? That's what the Seven of Swords. But I think you guys are trying to sneak away. Like, you guys are like, listen, I'm doing my own thing. Okay, you want to find your soulmate, but your past is going to try it. They really are. They're going to try it here with you. Let's get that five of wands. See, here with the ace of swords and with the chariot. The chariot card definitely talks about, um, you know, either you moving on because it's going to be a choice. Some of you guys, you know, this is going to be something that you guys want to stick with. And for others, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you may just move on from this connection. This is communication, that type of thing. But I think this is more so you guys, 
having clarity and moving on. Okay. But if, you know, if someone has been wanting to be with you, they you may have been engaged, that type of thing. You guys are going into a new connection and it's going to be a long-term committed relationship. That's what I'm saying. You guys have dealt with some drama of a lifetime here. Disrespect because third party energy is all up in this reading. All up in this reading. Yeah, you're waiting for someone to bring you what you deserve. And if that comes from someone new, that's what you're going to get. And you will get your happiness. We see it here with the nine of cups and wish fulfillment. And we also see it here with the three of cups. Okay. So I'm seeing this here for you. So this is what I have for you, Aries, a beautiful reading and the, sorry, just bear with me with these cards. Like I'm, I did this on Pisces read, but I'm starting to notice that I'm not going to be able to use these cards <laughs> as much as I want to. Maybe it'll be called a golden ticket reading where I only get four cards and it'll only go at the bottom. That's probably what I'll do. But thank you guys for bearing with me. But this reading in general is amazing. You're going to get what you want. You're going, this is, you're going to run into your, your soulmate here. So thank you guys again. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye guys.